don't use only range when you're creating any chart like this. So when you're selecting this value, I'm going to create a chart by going to insert and I'm just creating one line chart. So here you can see we are getting this line chart, but if you will add a new data in this below range, let's say if I will add a new entry, Mukesh, I will add some numbers also. So you can see we are not getting the updated data inside this chart. So instead of this, you can just use here table format that will create your range into dynamic scenario. So how you can convert this range into table, you can simply select this data set, whole data set, then you can press control T and now you will get this dialog box and simply we need to click on OK. And now this range is converted to table and we can delete this chart for now and we can create a new chart. Go to insert, click on line and select a new chart. Now we have three lines and for the different data set. Now if I will add a new data set, let's say if I will add a new entry with the numbers. So you can see automatically we will get charts. So if you will add more data set, it will automatically update your chart. So this is how you can create the chart when you have any range, you can convert that into table first, then you can create the chart just to make it dynamic. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And if you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much for watching.